A merge sort divides a list in half, again and again, until each data item is separate. This type of algorithm is called divide and conquer, and it is efficient for large data sets. It then merges each sublist back together, comparing values and putting them in the correct order. This process continues until there is only one fully sorted list. Here is another example of a merge sort, this time sorting the characters into ascending alphabetical order. With an odd number of items, just be consistent when dividing and merging. Merge sort is highly efficient and is usually much quicker than bubble and insertion sorts, especially for sorting large datasets. However, it is more complex to program and it uses more memory. You do not need to memorize any searching or sorting code, but you may be shown code and asked to identify which algorithm it is. Algorithms can be written in many different ways. The extract of a merge sort below is just one potential method. Some clues for identifying a merge sort include that it divides lists into a left side and a right side, it splits until there is a length of one, and the algorithm calls itself. This is known as a recursive algorithm. Recursion is a concept in A-level that you don't need to know for GCSE, but you might be able to see on line 7 and 8 that the merge sort is calling itself to repeatedly split lists in half.